Susan Blackwell, and today I'm side by side one of my favorite Broadway princesses from the musical Head Over Heels. Look, everybody, it's Belting Bonnie Milligan. Hey. How Hi. you doing? I'm good. Bonnie. <laughs> Susan. Tell our friends at home where we are and what we are doing today. We are at Landmark at the Time Warner Center, where I once waited tables in this very room for six years. If these walls could talk, wow, what that? would they tell me is one of the funniest or weirdest or strangest things you've ever experienced in this restaurant? When I talk, sometimes I'll say certain things like, oh, that's yarm or stuff like that. But I would never say that to a table because that is not professional. And it is a professional place. It's, what did you say? That's yarm? yarm? Like, like yarm? Y U R M. Like, mm, that's so yarm? That's yarm. And so I went, I was checking on a table and, you know, I was just like going by and I was like, hi, how's your calamari? Is it yarm? And I just just they were like, oh, wrong word. I just had a stroke. We like, and the girl was like, like, yes. I was like, amazing. Enjoy. Dun, 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 dun. Slam. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock, oh and you have to tell me your whole life My story. My whole life in 30 seconds. Don't leave out the awesome parts starting now. Okay, I grew up in central Illinois. Mm. Um, my dad was a preacher, and so I always, and is a singer, and I always sang as soon as I could talk, singing in church. Um, when I was 10, I got the lead in the school play as an elf who saved Christmas, and then I was like, I should be an actress. Um, my parents got divorced, and we moved to, my mom and I, we moved to Ohio. 10 and seconds. I, oh God, I finished school, I went to college, and then I came to New York, and then I lost myself, and then I found myself, and here I am on Broadway. You have five seconds left. Oh my God, I love Broadway. Yeah. And there you have it. Super bonus, what is the name of that autobiography? From the trailer to the lights of Broadway. I grew up on a double wide trailer. You I didn't put that in there. You did, you did. God I mean, bless <laughs> your little trailer park heart. What the what <laughs> is it like to be starring in Head Over Heels on the Broadway? Unbelievable and unreal. And you made your Broadway debut. debut. So what the what was that experience like? Soups emotional, <gasps> like really crazy. I've been with the project um, for four years. We did the first reading in New York a very long time ago. And so when you're with a project and it has so many ups and downs, you think it's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. It's gonna, right. it's not gonna happen. Right. So then to finally like get the call, it's happening. And then it to be this show that I've been able to originate and put my stamp on is yeah. like all your dreams come true. What the what is the story about you just tromping dog shit all over a rehearsal room? What? The what? I didn't know. How did you find out about that? No. I didn't know. I had I think that's what it was. Wow, you just blew my mind. So you stepped into dog shit? <laughs> <laughs> and I was in a rehearsal and I was like, God. And I was just like the leader Somebody of being like <laughs> And then it was like, oh, it's me. And then everybody thought that was hilarious because I had been like, wow, wow, everybody should really. Did you just spin in the middle of the floor and go, it's me, you guys, it's me. <laughs> it's me. A little bit, yeah. Fill in these musical blanks in the song. I'm so nervous. <laughs> the first song I remember singing is. I don't know all the lyrics, but it's don't mess with my two, two. What is that? I, apparently, I used to sing it all the time. Is it a real song or when a made-up song? When I was like two or three. Is it a made-up song? I don't know. My go-to audition song is... I have nothing, nothing, nothing If I don't have you By Whitney Houston. The song that I love singing in Head Over Heels is. Beautiful is all I see when I look at me. The Head Over Heels earworm that is driving me out of my mind is. Mad about you, lost in your eyes. This is Doris's song, Just it's a catchy one. Haunting your dreams in the middle of the night. Yeah, but not a bad haunt. 
Okay, let's take a tour of this food. This is the, I can't pronounce That's it. That's the orecchiette alla norcina. That looks amazing. Escargot. Boop, boop, boop. Croque madame. Beep. French onion. Beep, beep. Pain perdu. Where should we start? The snails. We. Oh, they're under little oh, pillows. Oh, Cheers. Yeah. Clink. Oh, gosh. That's really good. If you were wondering at home, you should come eat here. That food's good. It's good. This is soaked overnight. In what? Oh gosh, do I remember? Eggs, brandy, cream, and vanilla extract. I think we should have dessert for lunch. With a steak knife. What's the preferred technique here? Yeah, just slice her in. Slice it. And then what's this? That's maple syrup. And do we just go like that? Do we you dip do it? That, you dunk can put it? it on like, yeah, do it there. Cause sides? Kidding who? We don't need sides. Let's be friends. Let's make the mess that we were meant to make. This is soaked overnight. Soaked overnight, friend. That is why it is so delicious. God damn, that's good. A zombie apocalypse has struck Midtown Manhattan. You have been stricken. I am a zombie? Yes. No. Which Broadway brain or brains would you most like to feast upon? Broadway brains? Yes. I mean, probably Stephen Sondheim. That is a great choice. I'm Why? I'm so sorry, because what, what brilliance. And it's just saturated with such goodness. It's been soaked overnight, it's mother Soaked overnight. That is the Pam Purdue of brains, if I've ever <laughs> thought of this one. This does look like Stephen Sondheim's brain. You got any special skills down at the bottom of your resume? What you I got? do. What you got? I have squirrel noises. Huh? <laughs> I have stopped squirrels in their tracks. They'll be like, Martha? Really? like, run. <laughs> Do you do any impressions? What do you do? I'll usually do like a little Celine. You do? I like Celine. <sighs> Hit me with that. There were nights when the wind was so cold. Now a little, a little, a little squirrel. <laughs> More Celine. My body frozen bed. If I just listen to it <laughs> right outside the window. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. God or no God? God. What happens when you die? Heaven, hopefully. Would you rather visit the past or the future? Past. If you were a book, what section of the bookstore would you live in? Self-help. <laughs> What's your purpose in life? Uh, to bring joy and light. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, or Tony? Tony. And lastly, cake or pie? I know what you want me to say. And I'm sorry, I have to say pie. Table flip, Pam Perdue. I love cake too. How dare you? I like them both. The correct answer today is Pam Perdue at the Landmark. <laughs> Guess what time it is? I don't know. It's time for Susan's Fantasy oh. Jukebox. I've got your nose and you can have it back, but first you gotta sing me a song. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile even though it's breaking when there are clouds mm. in the sky you'll get by if you smile through your fear and sorrow smile and maybe tomorrow you'll see the sun come shining through for you just light up your face with glass. This has been another amazing episode of Side Hide by Side by Susan Blackwell with my amazing oh, friend Bonnie Milligan. Go see Maybe her in Head Over so Heels. You will not regret it. If you smile, Keep singing to me forever. Keep on trying. Wait. Smile, what's the use of crying? Keep singing. You'll find life is still worthwhile. If you just smile. This is the greatest moment of my life. You can have your nose back. It's covered with maple syrup. I'm so <sighs> sorry. Delicious. Mm. 
I heard that you can just like bounce it. Oh yeah. There's your GIF and your GIF. Just put that on a loop. <laughs>